Adriana Padilla with Peter Greenberg Worldwide, and I'm in the state of Virginia. Now many travelers to Virginia head to the city of Richmond, and you can't blame them. The city is full of great food, beautiful natural spaces, not to mention plenty of historic sites. But one thing you may not know is that just outside of Richmond are amazing little towns and cities. And the best part about it, they're only one tank of gas away. So let's go see them. Starting off, you want to fill up your tank in Richmond and take off on the I-95 North. In about an hour, you'll find yourself in Fredericksburg. One thing you need to check out when you're in Fredericksburg is our volunteer fire department. It's been serving the community since 1882, and the cool part is they display antique fire equipment outside the station. After a day of taking in history, be sure to stop at Bistro Betham for southern cuisine that is completely seasonal and sourced locally. Continuing on the I-95 North, you'll hit the historic and very hip city of Alexandria. The heart of Alexandria is the Carlisle House, the restored manor of Scottish merchant and city founder John Carlisle. The manor has a long and colorful history, so you might want to hire a guide to get the full story. Another historic must-see is Gatsby's Tavern Museum. Alexandrians are huge history buffs, so if you're lucky, you might even catch a historic-themed party thrown in Gatsby's upstairs ballroom. Driving from Alexandria, you're less than an hour away from the last leg of our journey, a hidden gem many travelers are unlucky enough to overlook, the wine country of Loudoun County. Take Interstate 495 South to the 267 West to Leesburg, and a wine culture different from anything you'll find in Sonoma or Napa. There are more than 30 wineries in Loudoun County, and what sets them apart is the open and easygoing nature of their wine culture. Don't expect much pretense here. It's not uncommon for the owner of the winery to be the one pouring you a drink during the tasting. Like at Fabioli Cellars, an intimate winery with a tasting room in the basement of the owner's home. And don't be surprised if you find yourself lending a helping hand. Another place to kick back and enjoy a bottle of Cabernet Franc is the Ducani Winery. Not only can you meet winemaker Sebastian Marquet, but you can also see the winemaking process. It's also the perfect place to relax with a glass of wine after your long drive. Which, by the way, wasn't too hard on your pocketbook. This has been Adriana Padilla for Peter Greenberg Worldwide. Thank <laughs> you.